In this video, we're going to play some GameCube games on our Wii U. Uh, please follow my other tutorial where I show you how to hack your Wii U. Once it's hacked, we can also then add some of our uh, GameCube games on here. In this video, I installed uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee and Super Mario Sunshine, and they run great. The Wii U gamepad is awesome to play on these. You can also hook up a GameCube controller to your uh, Wii U, so playing the games um, just like they were originally meant to play. But um, in this tutorial, step-by-step -step how to do it, it's pretty simple, and uh, let's get into it. First things first, go ahead and search the Tech on Moons Wii VC or Wii VC Injector. And uh, the GBA temp forums have the link that works. I use the Google Drive link. There's also a mega link. You'll go ahead and download it. It's going to be a zip file. Go ahead and download it, then open it up with WinZip or 7-Zip or WinRAR. So I have it here. I'll go ahead and double click it. Just run it or I can extract it and put it onto my computer. And here we go. We're going to do a GameCube retail injection. So make sure you click over to there. It should default to Wii Retail. Game. Here we go. Um, so I already downloaded some ROMs. So ROMs. I can't show you where to get ROMs. So just do a Google search. You want to go ahead and find these ISO files, these disk image files. I'm going to go ahead and do Super Smash Brothers here. Then you're going to go and click on this big button right here, Download Image. And if you notice, it populates all this stuff now. Now I have the right uh, artwork. So optional source files, I wouldn't mess with any of this. You can if you want. Same thing here. Um, advanced, same thing. Default is just fine. When you get to build title, I'm not allowed to give you those keys there. But um, just Google it. Google Wii U common key. Google Rhythm Haven Fever common key. Go ahead and uh, copy over the Wii U common key. Paste it. Save key. It should turn green. Go ahead and do the Rhythm Heaven thing. Go ahead and save key. Should turn green. Once they're both green, you can hit the build button. Once you hit the build button, just uh, you can extract it onto your hard drive and then transfer it over. I'm just going to extract it directly into the install folder on my Wii. Go ahead and press. Um, this is assuming you followed my hacking guide before. This your your SD card from your Wii should be removed from your Wii, and uh, your Wii should be off. And then um, once you stick it in, you should see this file directory here because you have a hacked Wii. And we're just going to go ahead and put it into install directory. This actually takes a good amount of time. So just let it do its thing until you get a completed message. All right. So once you're done, you should get a message like this. And that's exactly what we're going to do next. Double check though. You go to boot, install, and there we go. We got it right here. It should look like that inside. I know it looks like gobbledygook, but... We're all good to go. So at this point, we'll eject the SD card out of our computer and we're gonna throw it in our Wii while our Wii is off. Then once the SD card is properly mounted, we can go ahead and turn our Wii back on. Okay, so here we are on our Wii and I'm just gonna go ahead and launch Hakshi to get it to where we can open up the homebrew store. All right, and then we go over to the homebrew channel. All right, now we go over to the WP installer, load it up. And then we should see that folder we just did, install, and yes. And you should be able to install it to either one, um, depending on if you have more space on your USB drive. Most of you are running a hard drive or a thumb drive off your USB, so you're going to have a little bit more room there. All right, successful installation. Let's go home. And now, let's go home again. Close software. Close. We're already in Hackchi, so we're good to go. And you can load the game. And again, you can rinse and repeat this. No problem at all to add additional games. And now they're installed on your Wii. They're there. Okay, and there they are. So I have Super Smash Brothers on the right and then I also installed Super Mario um, Sunshine there. Let's go ahead and open Smash Brothers since we just I'm using my finger. You can use a stylus as well. The software supports the Wii U. Do you want it? Yes, sure. And there we go. We now are gonna launch Super Smash Brothers. So now your 
Wii U plays Wii games and GameCube games. If you follow my other tutorial about the Retro Arc, you can play N64. So you can do the whole Nintendo library um, from the Wii U down at this point. All right, here we go. Throw it at that dude. Get out of here, bro. Whoa, whoa, where am I? Oh, I did not see that I fell in there. Get out of here, kid. Wow, that's pretty. <laughs> All right, it runs. And uh, you can just hit home and exit the game. And you can uh, go into a Wii U game or back into a uh, GameCube game or RetroArch, whatever you want. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll catch you on the next one.